So you need to transfer your old games from your Xbox One to your brand new Xbox Series X, but you don't really know how to do that. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the network transfer option. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. Now, as I mentioned in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Xbox's network transfer option. And what you're going to see today is an excerpt from a live stream that I did a few weeks ago. So guys, I hope you enjoy the video and hope you get some good information from this. Let's go ahead and start that right now. Let's go ahead and talk about the second way of doing this. And this is also going to be um, probably the second fastest way of, of uh, transferring your games from your Xbox One to your Xbox Series X, and that is by using the network transfer option. If you're not familiar with what the net network transfer option is, it's basically using your local area network uh, that you have in your house to transfer your games from one Xbox to the other, and I'll show you how to set that up in just a moment. So when you're using that, it's like I said, it's using your local area network, so your download your transfer time between the two systems is going to be much faster than if you're trying to download everything online. Let's go ahead and jump into the Xbox behind me and I'll show you how to set that up and um, show you what steps you need to take to do that. So the first thing guys that you're going to want to do when you're uh, on your Xbox is go to your settings tab. You can do that by hitting your your home button right here. Uh, you also can just hit the, uh, if you have it on your menu already, you can hit the settings button. But I want to show you here. So I'm going to go over to profile and systems. We're going to go down to settings and then from settings, we're going to let that open. And then from, um, once it's open, we're going to go down to, uh, I believe it's systems and then back up and transfer. And then you want to go down to network transfer. And then from network transfer, make sure you have allow network transfer on there. Now there is another way of doing this. Um, if you don't remember that way, you can also just go straight into your games and apps and then you'll go down to manage and then from manage over here. Wow. I'm really all the place uh, down to network transfer. And then you can, if it's off, if it says off there, just click on that. And then you'll go to that same menu that we were on just a second ago and make sure that you allow to do that. So once you have that on, then what you guys can do is, uh, click on the network transfer and then now you'll see that my son's console is lo listed here so this is my old Xbox One X that I gave my son and uh, he plays his games on there now so I can click on his Xbox or if you have multiple Xboxes that you want to transfer from it should list out the different ones there for you and then I can see the games that he has here and let's just say I wanted to download Crash Bandicoot or maybe I want to you know select all of them I can select all of them or I can pick the ones that I specifically want and then it'll say copy selected and then I'm going to click on that and then it'll ask me which hard drive I want to put this on and let's go ahead and put it on the external hard drive. So, um, and it's going to ask to copy and then there you go. Now it's in there getting ready to install. All right, guys, and so that is how you use the network transfer option. If you have any questions about this, make sure you leave that in the comments below, and I will do what I can to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video again, and I will see you in the next one.